friends. So today's problem we are going to discuss on the cycloid. So how this cycloid comes? So when we take a circuit is moving and rolling over a plane. When you take a locus of the point, so when you take the locus of the when you trace those points, when you join all those points, you get a cycloid. So how to draw this cycloid? Now we are going to do it now. So in the question what you said draw a cycloid. So draw a cycloid for one complete revolution of the circuit. So here we are giving the circuit about the dimension about 50 mm. So I have drawn the circuit about 50 mm dimension. So I am mentioning it here. Right? So, so the circuit dimension is about 50 mm. So it is 50 mm diameter. 50 mm. So next again, what I said, I said to draw the normal and tangent to the curve at a point of 30 mm, 5 mm above the base. So this is the baseline. So you need to take what the base length that is the perimeter of the circle. So you know the perimeter circle formula that is 2 pi r. So I have taken the 2 pi r value. So when you take a 2 pi r value, you are getting a distance about 158. When you calculate it, you get a distance about how much? 158. So one hundred and fifty-eight. So the value that is two pi r that is equal to two into pi into r value. So you can see the r value is twenty-five. Okay, so you get the value that is about one fifty-eight mm the base length okay so next thing is you need to take the center point this as the C okay so now I'm going to divide the circle into eight equal parts so now you can take eight equal parts or two equal parts but now I'm going to divide this into eight equal parts so how to take how to divide this into eight equal parts so, Take out the protractor and mention the angle that is about 45 degrees. Here and another 45 degrees here. Taking the 45 45 diamond angle, you can divide this into 8 equal parts. Everything till now, what I have drawn is with the blue sketch. That is, you need to draw with the two H grade pencil, not with the H grade pencil. Okay? So, mentioning this point, this one as 1, this is the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and finally the eighth point okay so after doing it you need to draw a complete rectangle box so in order to find out the locus the tracing of the locus of this point okay right 
Okay, so now taking this distance. So now I completely drawn with a rectangular box now. Okay, so I have divided this into what eight equal parts. So this baseline also must be divided into eight equal parts. So now I'm taking an imaginary inclination length here. Okay, now taking out the compass and with the help of the compass and I am going to divide this inclined line into 8 equal parts. Okay. 8 equal parts. So with the help of the drafter join the end point and this point. Okay. After joining it you need to tighten tightly with the help of the drafter and next thing is going to divide the remaining points. So this is how to divide this line into 8 equal parts, ok. Now I am taking these parts as change this time time numbers so taking this as a 1 this is the 2 and this is 3 4 5 6 7 and finally this is 8 so it is clear now we can easily understand the problem so when the circle rotates on this plane. Here you can see the one is coinciding with this one, two is coinciding with two, three. In the same way, vice versa towards the eight. Now, the thing is that you need to draw the vertical lines for every single dimension what I divided here. So taking this, this is the one here. Okay. And this is the 2, next is the 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So I am taking this center line. So I am taking this as center line. So mentioning the points, whatever this is as the C1, this is the center one, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, and C8. Right? In the same way, now we are going to join this 7 1 line and 5 3 line extend it towards here towards this rectangular box okay so 
so this thing must be also joined with the help of the drafter okay Next with the five and the three here. Now what you have to do is take out the compass okay with the radius of this circuit. So what is the radius? There you can see the radius is about 25 mm. That is about 25 mm. So take with the help of the scale. Right, and placing at the center C1, I'm marking the arc at the first point here. Okay, on the center line here. So you are getting the point is as the P1. In the same way, when you mark it out here, such as the Cyclist starts from here, so it is starting with the P8 here on the 8, so you are getting what? The P8 here. Same thing goes here, at the end you get the P8 there. Okay, so now taking at the center C2, I am marking the point it on here, so you are getting on this second line. So you are taking the first line, right? So on the first line we got the P1. And on second line we got this as the P2 here. Taking the C2 as the center and P2 we're getting the point. In the same way the C3 here. So C3 taking the center on the C3 and this third third division here we are drawn a line horizontal. So on that line you need to draw the point P3. Okay, and the same on the C4. So exactly we are getting the point here on this. So this is the point you are going to get it here. That is the P4. Same as on the 5. Taking C5 at the center on the line 5. So here you can see the 5 fifth division of this circuit. So draw the horizontal line here. And we need to draw the arc on the fifth line in order to get the point. P5. Next, on the center C6, on the sixth line division, you have to cut out. You can not get the P6 point. I am taking on the center C7 here, and on the seventh line, you can see here this is the seventh line. Right? On seventh line horizontal line division, you have to cut the arc in order to get the point P7 same on this C8 we had cut on the arc here such that it is intersecting and we are getting the point P8 okay now the thing is you need to join all these points in order to get the cycloid so with the help of the H-grade pencil Till now, I have drawn only with the blue scale, so that thing must be drawn with the two H grade pencil. So now I am drawing all these points here. So now we have got this is the cycloid so next is the thing you need to draw the normal and tangent it is next thing is you need to draw the normal and the tangent at a distance of 35 mm from the base so this is the baseline you can see here this is the baseline okay and with the help of the drafter you need to check the distance that is 35 mm from here on this base 
so when you got it so you're getting the point here Joining this point, so the point from the base it is at a distance about thirty five mm. So I'm taking this point as capital M. Okay. Now, with the help of the compass, with the help of the compass, you need to mark the normal and tangent. How to get it? So, taking the distance of this circle that is about radius about twenty five mm, place it at the point M. Okay, on this center line, this center line, you can see these are the center points C one, C two, C three. Okay. So here we're going to get the point here on this line. So I'm taking the point it as z. Okay, z. So now draw a vertical line downwards towards this base. Draw a vertical line downwards towards this base in order to get the point that is the Yen. Okay. Now you join this N I D M in order to get the normal. Okay. Join this N I D M. So we next time it you get this is the N I D M. That this is the normal. Right. In the same way, now with the tangent, take out the protractor. Place it here. And join it. You get the tangent. So it must go only at the single point here. So this is the tangent T and the T dash. So the tangent and normal and the cycloid must be drawn with only H grade pencil. The many construction line must be drawn with two H grade pencil. So in the next class we are going to discuss about the epicycloid